JLD612 PID that we're using for our setting. Right now it's already set up and running, it's heating the water. I'll show you how we set it up. These three here are the XLR connected uh, thermocouple. This is the, uh, the hot and the cold and then an extra hot that kind of measures the uh, resistance between the two to get the temperature setting which is shown right there. These two over here is the power from the uh, from the wall, 120 volts. These two are the out power that uh, sets the relay. We're using a solid state relay. We have power going in through there. The green wires is the hot and the cold going into our heating element, which is inside this uh, water vat here, along with the thermocouple on the other side. To set this, I'm going to reset it by turning off the power. You'll see that the heating element is turned off. To set this, it, can, it holds on to your original settings, but I'm going to still go through the setting process. So the first password you set in, which is what that stands for, is 0089. That's to set your initial parameters. The first one, in temperature, this is for your thermocouple. Excuse me. So if we set that one, the thermocouple that we're using, if you see on this right here, right above my thumb, the PT100 is the type. And it has a setting in our PID. As you can see, that's P100. That's the setting for the PT100. I'll cycle through just to show you a couple other ones. Different characters, but we want specifically the uh, P100. This is P10.0, and you can't really tell from this video, but that's P100. So we'll set that one, and we'll scroll up to O-U-T-Y. This is the relay method that we're using, and it has three settings. The one that we want, 0, 1, and 2. We want 2, which is what uses the solid state relay. The other two are a uh, different setting that doesn't work for our system. So we'll set that one. Going up to the next one. HY, we left it the default setting. For the next one, this PSB, that we also left at the default setting. This one specifically corrects if you have a, a thermocouple that may be reading one or two or three degrees off and you measure it with a better thermometer, you can adjust that by moving it plus or minus and then the next setting, RD, is whether you're doing heating or cooling. In our case, zero is heating, one is cooling, so we'll just leave that at zero. And then the next one is the CRF, which literally stands for Celsius or Fahrenheit. If you set that one, zero is Celsius and one is Fahrenheit, so we have our set to one. And that goes through the end setting, or to end our parameter settings setting we're going to do is for high and low alarms in our set value and that we want to enter the code 0001 the first setting is our set value that's what the SU is we set that we're going for 155 for our steeping temperature for our, our uh, initial uh, step in our brewing process it's already set so I'm going to go ahead and okay that one then the next setting we're going to do is the uh, first high alarm. I'm actually going to lower this one uh, down to 160. So that means that once the, uh, if the temperature goes above 160, it'll actually put out a little buzzer alarm, which we may or may not necessarily even need once this uh, thing gets tuned. So we'll set that one. And then when we go to AL, AL1, set that one at just below the other setting here. So move that up to say eight. And that one down to five. So what that will do is that when the when the buzzer goes on at 160 where we set this one at, it'll stay on until it goes back down to this one, which was two degrees below that. So until it is for sure dropping down. And then we'll set a low alarm now. So the H2 we'll set at 
150. So their alarm or a buzzer will go on if it goes below 150. And then it'll go off once we set the A. Oops. Once we set the AL to. It'll go on once it gets below 150, and it'll go off once we once the temperature goes up to 150, we'll say two. Should probably be pretty good for our setting. And that's the entire setting on that one. That. So now, to get it to tune itself, because it is an auto-tuning, those are the easy parameters you can set. The ne other ones involve crazy integrals and derivatives and very ugly equations. So you hold down this right arrow until the AT, which stands for auto-tuning, starts flashing. So I'm holding it down now. Okay, it's flashing now. And our 120 heating element just kicked on. And it'll keep heating until the process variable, which is the top one, which is measuring our temperature. This 120 heating element will continue heating until it gets to 155. Then the system will let it the system will let itself shut down for a moment until the temperature cools down. And then once it gets to a certain point, the PID will automatically turn it back on again. And it'll go through it several times until it determines the variables that it needs. And once it's done auto-tuning, that will stop flashing. You're good to go.